Hey guys, today is Friday, November 22nd. Um, I am off today. I don't have to work today and Kerrigan has uh, an in-service day at school. So she's off. The girls are sleeping right now. I'm just having breakfast. My eggs are boiling and almost ready. Um, we are going to go to the Spruce Meadow Downs Christmas craft show today. Um, they have a great big craft show. It was last weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but I was doing my craft show on Saturday. Um, and then it's this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then it's next Saturday and Sunday. So I want to see what this is all about. Um, I would love to apply and do my craft show. Eight days is a long <laughs> craft show, but I want to see what it's like. And, you know, are they all great big booths, like 10 by 10? Um, I don't think I could do something like that, but, um, I want to see if there are individual tables and maybe apply for next year. But I just kind of want to see what the stuff is. Um, you know, do my paper crafts fit in or is it all like furniture and, you know, charcuterie boards and stuff like that and very like artisan um, uh, items. So, yeah, so the girls and I are going to go over and do that. We have to go get our passport photos because the girls' um, passports expire next year. So, um I think if they get up and they're having good hair days, uh, we'll go get passport photos for them. And then I finally got Bryn to go to the pool with me at the Y yesterday, and she had so much fun on the slides. So we we're planning on doing that um, again today and bring Kerrigan with us for that. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Oh, there's more of you. <laughs> We're just in shoppers waiting for the girls' passport photos. Do you not are you feeling <laughs> this one has so stains cute. on it. Does it have stains oh look at the wall drip. Look at the stains. Well, because people have touched him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the shark's cute. <laughs> They're actually like... Oh, It's like that weird pharmacy that was out in Georgetown. Oh, all your stuff that smells. Like these little tables would be good. You have the handheld. This all seems really commercial. Like it's Harry Potter puzzles. Oh, sorry, Ruth. Stepdaughter. You want to go that way? Okay, well, let's just do with the loop. Okay, we'll go around and then we'll come up the other side. I know it's very dark in here. So it's quite dark in here and there is a really odd smell <laughs> to the place. It's like musty, but like spicy food. I don't, I don't even know how to <laughs> explain it. This one's cute, the quilted cabin. We've got some cute stuff. So there are some single tables. They're back there, but didn't really film. But 
I'm wondering what it would be like in another building because, oh, that's cute with the lighting. At least you can see the stuff. You definitely need lights because it'd be so dark. Oh, they have Pampered Chef. <laughs> we need some new stones. Very commercial in here. Like there's Pampered Chef, um, a lot of like store stuff, not so much craft things. We're going down Candy Cane Lane over here. We don't know what's going to be over this way. The riding hall. Why does it proceed at your own risk? <laughs> is there like... Did it really? Yeah. Some like horse is going to come so flying dark. through this door and knock us over. This is Candy Cane Lane. Wait, is this a horse? No, but they're horse stables. No, it's crafts inside. They're little stores. It's not a horse. The horses aren't in the. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, this is kind of cute. <laughs> but, oh, it's kind of cute. Let's go. Yeah. We just went to the guide dogs. Scott sponsors a guide dog. He wants to have a dog so bad, but he's so allergic. So Kona is the dog he adopted. We just found out that he he got uh, into a home. So that's good. So I just talked to a lady in a booth. She was actually in a stable. Bram, we're going this way, hon. And uh, she said for the three weekends, it's $2,000 for that particular space that she was in. But she said she easily makes it back um, with the sales. But she said there are places that you can go around here, like within this craft show that are cheaper and that you only have to do one weekend. So, but she said you have to apply by April um, to try to get in. Oof, I took a big step down, but it wasn't a step. This what broke my back. This feels like ice. <laughs> Is that weird? <laughs> They're actual horse stables. So she was like, they kind of smell like manure. <laughs> We're just waiting for reindeer to come out. The kids want to see them. It's 45 bucks to get pictures. We just want to observe. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, so reindeer So we just went to, it's called Fantasy Pretzel and Donut, and Bryn was able to try her first pretzel. She's never had a pretzel before, but this lady is peanut and tree nut free. So, so excited. She sells at Calgary Farmer's Markets, and she has the donuts too. She didn't have donuts there today, but... Oh, that's so exciting because Bryn's never had many donuts either. It's a perfect weather day for this. It's like, I don't know, 40. Well, it's still no, like winter, it. but it's like 40 degrees. It's not freezing. Remember the carousel we did in Boston? No? Yeah, yeah. Over by, what was it? And then we got like, Quin the was it Quincy Market? Oh look, we go see. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what they are. Like, I don't know what custom, what, um, <laughs> where do these things come it's from? Like the, it's like the, um, are they a yeti troll uh, in Bermuda? That's what I mean, the trolls at, in, um, what is it, like, German, not Germany, Norway? Like, is it a, a Norwegian thing? I don't know. 40 new vendors. There's a uh, cow. Or no, a pony. A it's a little horse. Did I not teach you your animals when you were little? Hi! 
Hey! Hello, babies! Hello, babies! So that was the Spruce Meadows International Christmas Market presented by TELUS. <laughs> We're just gonna head out now and go back to the car. And we got a little something for Scott for Christmas, but we can't show it because it's for Christmas. Hey guys, so that was the uh, Spruce Meadows International Christmas Market. Um, it was really neat to see, and uh, I don't think I will apply. It's too big of a market, and I couldn't produce that many products, I don't think. Um, and the price is crazy. One booth that the guy said he paid like 800 bucks for, the other lady that was in the, one of the stables was $2,000. Um, and then there's those big gazebos. There's, there's just no way. So I'll just be a customer for those ones. Like Scott said, the one that I did here in our neighborhood, um, the table fee was 48 bucks. So if I didn't sell anything, we're out 48 bucks. Um, but that one, we'd be out rent. <laughs> so that's not good. Um, today is Monday, November 25th. Um, I'm off today, so I'm just sitting here in my jammies in front of the fireplace, which I love. This fireplace gets used every day. We had one in Seattle, but we just never turned the thing on. This one's nice because it's just a light switch, um, so that's good. Thursday, um, I'm off. I only work like two to three days um, a week at this point, and then the new year I'll probably be going to five days a week. Um, so I'm off Thursday and it's usually uh, the day I do housework and I thought I would do like a little house tour because I don't think I ever showed you guys once everything was unpacked um, how we have the house kind of set up and then this weekend is the beginning of vlogmas it's going to be December 1st on Sunday so I'm going to do vlogmas this year I think it'll be fun because um, we're in a different house and um, I'll be decorating a little bit different um, than I normally do um, well same decorations, just put in different spots. I have some projects I have to get to. Today I have to make some of my paper play sets at my craft show. A lady had ordered three of my Wizard of Oz um, sets because I had sold out and I sold out of my superhero ones too. Um, so I'm gonna make some of those and then give her a call because she's waiting for those. Um, I'm gonna do a video about my craft show uh, I'm just in the process of editing right now so I'll hopefully get that up by the end of the week. And uh, what else? Oh, Scott wants me to do his Christmas door for his office. And uh, it's a brown door. So most people would just tick red pom-pom and some googly eyes call it Rudolph and call it a day. But no, no, I've designed the Polar Express <laughs> to go uh, on the wall, the door next to his, his door, turn the corner, <laughs> go on another door and come down the hall. So yeah, that's fun. Um, so I went to Staples yesterday to get a big roll of brown paper because I'm going to design it here and then we're just going to take it to the office and hang it up that way. Um, so yeah, I have to design that. So I've got the basement uh, floor downstairs um, to work on and lay everything out because it's going to be huge. I don't know why I did that to myself, but anyway. Um, and oh, I made some rainbow rice yesterday with the kids. I did this for... Um, like a sensory box for my job. And I thought it'd be really cute. So we just dyed rice. It's just cheap rice from Walmart. Um, and we just dyed it with food coloring. So we left it out um, last night to dry. So I'm gonna bag that back up and get that ready for tomorrow. Um, and then I'm just gonna put like little funnels and scoops and jars and stuff um, in a bin. And um, yeah, so work's going really good. Um, I'm liking the job and uh, I work um, tomorrow and Friday this week. So I've got some time off to get some of these projects done, so I better go do that. I'll get those videos up, the host tour and uh, my craft show. That'll be on my craft uh, channel. So anyways, I'm going to get some breakfast, and I hope you guys are good, and I'll be back with some more videos soon. All right, take care, guys. See ya.